Mr. Cap. Mr. Cap. Mr. Cap. Mr. Cap. You ready again, bro? Ready again, bro? Yeah. T God Mafia. T God Mafia. Straight out of Pittsburgh, man. Okay, I just want to start this out first by saying, Go Patriots. So let's just start start off with the Super Bowl champions here, 51. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so I just bought this trimmer. It's a 16-inch flower trimmer. As you can see here, or maybe you can't. Let me try to get as close as I can. There you go. It's a flower trimmer. All right. Anyway. Uh, it came with the handle. I have it together. Twist it like this. It's supposed to put about, I don't know, anywhere from 24 to 40 uh, grams of flour before you put it in there on the tray. It's a handle. This handle looks like it's been used. I see something right there on it. Not sure what that is. And it looks speckled. So I don't know if this is a return or what. But this is my review of the 16 inch trimmer. It also comes with a serrated blade and a straight blade. As you can see the serrations on the sides. The serrated blade is used for uh, particularly dry flowers and the straight edge is best used for wet flowers. It also came with a scraper. It looks a lot like a trimmer or a clipper. As you can see there. And it also came with this dome lid that has what I call feeler, rubber feelers on the uh, attached to it to move the flowers around. And then within side is a great plate where you put your flower right here underneath. It's a straight blade. I'm about to cut some wet flour. Here you have a nice stainless steel bowl. I really like this bowl actually. It has some uh, circular raised grooves that would be pretty good to catch Keith. Take a good look at that. It's a nice bowl. Pretty decent bowl. Not bad. Underneath the bowl, there's a little rubber mat that comes along with it as well. It has some little holes in it. It helps keep it in place while you're turning it around. This is how you would assemble it. You'd put your mat down, then you put your bowl on top. Keeps it a little sturdy there take your grate make sure you have your straight blade or serrated blade attached with the wing nut and you put it in here again attach it with the wing nut and then you put it in here you put your flower here to cover the bed and then after you put your flower on you put this down over the groove right so the hex and then you take your, your turner, your handle, put it in there, and here we go. So, we're going to see how this bad boy works. It says to remove the top, place the untrimmed plants on the grill, place the top and the handle back on, just like I showed you. Turn clockwise about 15 to 30 rounds. Remove the top, collect the plants, and repeat. Alright, let's see how easy it is. We're about to do it right now. Right now. Okay, here we go. Looks like I'm fielding some uh, Granddaddy Purple here. And how am I going to field it? Well, I guess I'll start out like this. Uh, yep. Yeah. 
seems like a good way to go. leaves will dry out. It will take them days to dry out, but that's what's going to happen with them. Uh, at least five to ten days to dry out. Okay, so there goes our bud. Uh, I don't know how this is going to all look once it's all done, but here it is. All done. Looking pretty smooth. Um, I'm gonna move in on it so you can get a better view of it. There it goes. The whole bed is covered. Alright. And there we go to we go to uh twisting it around. What's up? Right. And here we go. Right. Yeah, I mean that's a good amount of bud too. See that's about. See in a sec. All right. All right. Well, what do we have? I tell you what we have. We have. Well, we have a really good trim. Very good trim. Very good trim. So, I'm going to have to say that this is beautiful. There it goes. It's all my trim. Nice. 
goes with the fan leaves. And then take those, and they'll dry out. Patriots, Super Bowl 51. Go Patriots, Super Bowl winners. Alright. Sorry I have to keep doing that to you, but yeah, that's what I do. So, from here, I go to putting all my bud in there. done this the easier way, I'm sure. But this is the way I selected to do this, okay? Bear with me. <laughs> wow, you know what? Even the... It cut even the smallest bud. Even the smallest bud wasn't damaged. Look, look how small some of these are. No damage. No damage. Mr. Cap. Ready again, bro? Yeah. T God Mafia. T God Mafia. Straight out of Pittsburgh, man. Can't smoke weed to it. Don't doubt this nigga. I don't want to listen to it. Be the truth, nigga. Yeah.